Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, I thank you. I thank you for revelation. I thank you for everything. God, you are so big and so great and so amazing. And you love us, God. You love us no matter the instance. But I thank you and I praise you. You know, I told my mom today, and I told my a friend of mine the same thing later on in the day. I gave the example. I said, hang on, let me put my phone in, do not disturb so it's not making noise. I told my mom, I said, you know, I'm somewhere between Sarah and Abraham and Noah. And then I said, I guess we all are. But, you know, I told her, I, I gave this example. I said... God tells me, I know I'm going to turn this river into an ocean. So I go out here. And I start building a dam. Preparing. Because I know what God told me. And God said, I'm going to turn that river into an ocean. I'm like, okay, God, I believe you. And I start working diligently right away. But then I also make my backup plan. I'm like, well, God... You work on this, and I go back behind me over here, and I start digging another river. Because there's got to be water. Everything's got to be watered. So while God's turning this tiny little river over here into an ocean, and I'm building the dam because I trust and believe in him, I'm also back here digging a river. Because I trust God, I believe in God. But what if God don't? What if God don't? So let me tell you this now. Ditch your backup plan. Throw it away. Say to the mountain, it's time to move. My God is bigger. My God is greater. My God is stronger. It's time for you to move. Move. Throw away your backup plan and trust in what God has actually given you. Throw away the backup plan. Because what God has given you is yours. And he's letting you know now. Trust him. You can't trust him while you're back here digging on that ditch. Throw away your backup plan. And trust God for what's actually yours. May you be blessed. May you be favored. May God bless you and give you discernment. May he just bless you with abundance and understanding. And, and let you take this word and meditate on it in your heart. And know the things that he has planned for you and that they are good. Lord, I believe yet help my unbelief in Jesus' name. Amen. May you all be blessed.